we get a ton of questions asking how long did it take you to lose 130 pounds? So in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how long it took me to go from a size 24 to a size six, losing 130 pounds. And I'm also gonna share the successes, the failures, the bumps along the road, along the way, and throw some tips in there too. So let's do it. One more style. <laughs> pounds and kept it off for over five years. My husband, Kyle, behind the camera, has also lost 130 pounds and kept it off for over five years. At my starting weight, I was 275 pounds and Kyle was 375 pounds. We had massive health problems. I had sleep apnea. He had type 2 diabetes. We had back, knee, foot problems. Our health was going downhill very fast. We both struggled with our weight our whole lives and we yo-yo dieted to try and get the weight off our whole lives. Nothing ever worked. So we got to our heaviest weights. We knew we had to do something, but we knew it couldn't be a fad diet. It had to be something that we liked, something that we could stick to, to get our weight off in order to fix our health. So we decided we were gonna try eating what we liked in portion control instead of ch changing and making drastic changes. So we started portion controlling our food. We didn't change what we were eating, just how much. For exercise, we always get asked about exercise. We could literally barely move. Like we couldn't bend down to tie our shoes. We couldn't go up the stairs without being out of breath. So the only thing we could do was shuffle along very slowly in a walk. So we said, you know what? We're gonna get outside and we're gonna do what we can. And for the first little bit, it was pretty rough. We had to stop like every five minutes because Kyle's legs would cramp up, my plantar fasciitis would be really painful. And so we'd stop and we would just go as long as we could. And then we'd come back home and we'd eat portion control food. Because we had so much weight to lose and we went from eating so much food to portion control, in the first three months, we both lost 50 pounds. The weight came off super fast. Yeah, that was kind of like the first chapter, the first phase, yeah. 50 pounds, three months. It was pretty easy, like we liked our food and toward the end where we were losing, we had lost pretty much 50 pounds, we were starting to get stamina, like we were able to walk longer without stopping. We could go up the stairs without being so out of breath. We started to be able to bend down to tie our shoes. And we were like really proud of ourselves. But then after the first 50 pounds, it started to slow. We were still losing weight steady, but it started to slow down. And I remember, you could notice it in Kyle a lot more. Um, he's just, he, he's better, way taller than me. Better looking. <laughs> you could tell in him, I still looked really big. And I remember, I was proud that I lost the 50 pounds, but I went to go put a deposit down for a tattoo, uh, this one. And we went in and we had been to that tattoo artist before. So she knew what we looked like and who we were. And when we walked in the door, she said, wow, Kyle, have you lost weight? You look amazing. We had both lost 50 pounds, but she didn't notice that I had lost it. I remember like, holding it in. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to make her feel bad. I felt like crap. I was like, is this not working? Like, what is the point of this? Nobody notices. And she wasn't the only one. There was a lot of people not noticing, but noticing Kyle's weight loss and not mine. I realized though, after debating, like, is it even worth it to keep going? If nobody notices, I realized no one needs to know. I know this is my journey. I know I lost the weight and it's important that I keep going. So even though it kind of held me back for a little bit, I kept pushing forward because I knew this was what I wanted to do and what I needed to do. 
So for the, the next 55 pounds took us about a year because we chose to continue doing it portion control way because it was working and we really liked it. And we didn't mind that it might take a little longer because it was worth it. The, the thing we did do because it was slowing down is we started choosing lower fat versions of our favorite foods. We still ate what we like, but we chose the lower fat version and the lower calorie version. And we still always, always would recommend to you guys, if you have a ton of weight to lose, do not try to do this too fast. No, it did. We wanted it to come off. Obviously, when you make the decision to lose weight, you're like, okay, snap, it needs to come off. Every time we even skipped one step, it would backfire. Backfire. The thing is, the weight didn't come on overnight. And I know you've probably heard this before. We heard it many times, but it's, it's actually true. It didn't come on overnight and it's not gonna come off overnight. And anytime we try to get rid of it fast, like Kyle said, it backfired. So doing it the slower, steadier way really worked for us. So we made that change and then because our stamina had improved, we upped our walking. We were able to do 30 to 45 minutes of steady walking without stopping. And we just went at our own pace, what we could handle at the time. And we did it every single day. We just got out there, walked for 30 to 45 minutes, did it together. It was fun. We were proud of ourselves because we were really improving and our health issues were starting to improve. Total, the first 105 pounds took us about a year and three months. And this is just estimating. Um, so it took us about that. At our wedding, we had both lost a little over 105 pounds. A few months before the wedding, we were like, we still have about 25 pounds to go. Let's try to speed this up. This was a very bad decision, okay? <laughs> don't do this. No, don't do this. And we've told you guys about this many times in the video, but I'm gonna say it again because it's very important. We said, let's take away treats and try to drop the 25 pounds in a few months before our wedding. So we took away treats and we did okay for a bit. And then we were having a candy bar for our wedding and we had a ton of chocolate bars and candy in you know, a corner in a room ready for the wedding. I was sneaking those. Every single day when Kyle was in another part of the house, I would be going down and sneaking handfuls of the candy and the chocolate bars to the point where I ate like a full bag. And I didn't want to tell him because I was so embarrassed. I was like, I feel like a failure. Like we took away treats. I'm trying to lose weight for the wedding and I'm failing. We fumbled like that. At the wedding, we still look good. We had still maintained the 105 pounds, but we weren't losing anymore because we took away treats and it wasn't working. It backfired after the wedding. All heck broke loose. We went way off track. We started eating more treats and because we were feeling guilty about it and restricting, we it would backfire and we would start binging again. And then we both gained about 10 pounds. So that was a, a big bump in the road and it took us quite a while to get back on track. Eventually we realized we had to put treats back in and we started doing like um, P90X style exercise. We allowed ourselves a treat meal where we would eat portion control the entire week and then one night every week we would allow ourselves whatever we wanted for a meal. So pizza if we wanted it or um, like chicken fingers and fries, whatever, a dessert and a snack. And that was it. And then the next week we would do the same thing. And that really worked. We actually were able to lose the rest of the weight that way. So total to lose 130 pounds because of our step back, because we thought we could speed up the process and take away food. It took us about two years to lose 130 pounds, but we were so proud of ourselves. And before I tell you the next step in the journey, I want to say that a lot of you come to us and you are struggling. You're like, this isn't working. The weight's not coming off. I'm eating in a calorie deficit. I'm portioning out my food. I'm working out. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to. I'm not losing weight. What is wrong? The thing is, just know it's normal. It's normal for your weight loss to slow or stop completely. Weight loss plateaus are very normal. They're part of the weight loss journey. And slip ups, and backfire
tires and failures and bumps along the road, that's normal. No weight loss journey is perfect. None is smooth sailing. You're not gonna go from your heavy weight to your lowest weight so smooth and lovely. And it's any, any one of the thousands of people that we've talked to over the last five and a half years on YouTube, anybody that's done it really quickly without any bumps, they've always either hit a plateau or put back on a lot of weight because they tried to do it too fast. They took away too much food too fast. And I know you're hearing two years and you're like, ah! The thing is, we didn't focus on it like that. We actually had no idea that we were gonna lose that much weight or that we were gonna get where we are now. We just started with little goals. First it was, let's just try to lose weight and stick to something. Then it was, let's get under 200 pounds for me and um, Kyle had his own goal. And then it was, let's just not be in plus size clothes. So you don't see the big picture, you just see little goals. And when you do it like that, it's not as scary. And when you know that it's normal to not have a smooth journey, you're more likely to be gentle on yourself. So if you're struggling, pick yourself back up and keep going. That's what we did. We fell multiple times, guys. But the thing about this is that we never gave up. We picked ourselves back up and we kept trying stuff and trying stuff until we found what worked for us. And this is why we started the channel, to let everybody know that struggling. We thought we, it was impossible for us to lose weight and we did it. So the next step, we lost 130 pounds each, but we had a ton of loose skin. And we were like, okay, we're not getting surgery, so how do we make this better? So we put, we decided to put on muscle. When you build muscle, you, you gain a little bit of fat along with the muscle. So I was 145 pounds from 275 after losing my 130 and I put on 20 pounds. Some of it was fat, some of it was muscle, but I stayed the same size clothes. So at 145, I was a size 10, 11. When I gained my muscle and a little bit of fat, I was a size 10, 11. A few months ago, about six months ago, we decided that we were going to lean out. So we went back in a calorie deficit. We were eating pretty clean six days a week and then having a cheat day. We decided to just eat in a calorie deficit and eat what we liked, low calorie, low fat food. And I lost 20 pounds. So I'm back to 145, but now I'm a size six. I kept my muscle. I'm a size six, I'm fitting in size small leggings. This is my first pair of size six Lululemons. So ladies, if that's not a message to you to start lifting weights, yes, you might put on a few pounds here and there, but if you stay in a calorie deficit and keep at the muscle building, you'll change the composition of yes. your body. So that is why I looked, I was in the same clothes and looked the same when I was 20 pounds heavier. Once I built the muscle, and I lost the fat I gained with it. Now look at this. Whoa. Look at it. So Nicole, you've gone from total like a size 24 to a size six. To a size six. From the entire start to finish yep. journey. And we don't even know if we're finished yet. And that's the thing, it keeps going. You never finish your journey. We thought there was an end goal, there isn't. Don't focus on the outcome because there no. isn't an outcome. No, the point is to love it. If you're not loving your food and you're really struggling, take a look at what you're doing and try something else. We had to do that a lot. And we really wanted to do this video to share with you. Anyone that's struggling, know that it's normal. Be gentle on yourself. The road is not smooth. <laughs> it's bumpy. It's got a lot of potholes on that road. You do a lot of shadow work, a lot of learning, and a lot of head bumping along the way. Yes, but it is possible. You're looking at two Formerly, we were looking at one, and I'll put a oh, picture of me. Sorry, <laughs> that I'm looking at too. Um, we used to be extremely obese, guys, and we had eating disorders, multiple health problems, and we healed from all of it by liking our food. So, if you want to know, actually, if you want to make weight loss really easy, we have two weight loss guides down below exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds and what we did for exercise, it's all down in the links below. Watch these two videos, don't give up. We love you guys, you can do this, we're here for you. That one, this one, peace and out. Love ya. One more. Bring in the mud. <laughs>
post. And post. And post. It's getting weird now. And post. And post. Love ya. Peace out, dudes. And dudes. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. <laughs>